Are you gonna help me open packages? Yes. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, the fluffiness. Scratch the fluffiness. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing a mail opening video for you guys. So this is basically all the mail that I've received since the last mail opening that I did in, I think I did one in February. Um, if your mail isn't in here, then I probably haven't gotten it. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one, and I think I know what this is. So let's see. It's a potato. It says, Megan, awesome channel. Thanks for all the great animal care tips. Keep doing your thing. Your friends at Potato Parcel. <laughs> this has to be one of the weirdest and coolest things I have ever received in the mail. It's exciting, right? It's a potato. We got a potato berry. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so weird. So Potato Parcel is a place where you can write a message on a potato and they send it to whoever you want your message to go out to. And you can follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll also link their website down below because that is pretty cool. So I hope I get some more potatoes. Maybe you guys will send me some potatoes. That would be pretty cool. Whose are we going to open next? Huh, Beery? I got animal pictures. Okay. Dear Megan, my name is Alyssa, but everyone calls me Allie. I'm 23 from Australia. I've been watching your videos for a while now, and I absolutely love your channel. It is such an inspirational and educational channel, and I completely love and respect what you do. I love watching someone who is so likable, relatable, and who genuinely loves all animals. Your videos make me smile every time I watch them. And I just love seeing the lives of your pets and your education. Videos have taught me a lot about animals that I didn't know. It's interesting seeing all of the animals you can have as pets in the U.S. As here in Australia, we're actually pretty limited to what we can own. I have heard that. In fact, we cannot own birds like Barry as pets here, even though they're Australian natives. We don't have sugar... We don't have sugar gliders, chinchillas, hamsters, etc. available as pets, so you're very lucky you can own such a variety of animals. At the moment, I just have cats, four between me and my mom, all girls, one boy between me and my partner. All rescues and all domestics minus one who is a Maine Coon cross. One day soon, me and my partner buy our first house. I look forward to getting a dog, and I'd love to own mice. I just love mice. Anyway, keep up your channel. You're an amazing person, and your channel is amazing. I look forward to many future videos, Alyssa. Uh, thank you so much, Alyssa. Those are very kind words, and it really did mean a lot to me. And then... Oh, the kitties. Here are the kitties. And more kitties. And let's go with another package. Okay, this says the Snuggie Store. Megan, AKA Happy Tales. I wanted to send you something for Thea and Beastie. I have my own Etsy shop where I sell sugar glider toys and cage sets. My shop is the Snuggy Store. Feel free to share it. If not, that's okay too. I hope your Snuggies love their new bedding. I love all your videos and I think it's great how you're educating everyone on correct care and nutrition. You helped me out with questions I had about socializing a parrot. 
I got from my uncle because he uh, wasn't getting much attention. He's now a happy loving bird like you who is into everything. It took some time but he doesn't bite and he's super sweet. Thank you. Nicole. Oh, thank you so much Nicole. These are super cute. They're like unicorn colored. Okay, so the little uh, corner levels, I think that's what they're called. And, oh, little bits. Look at these. I really love the color of this material. And some little fleece. To be able to hang everything on the cage. These are super cute. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, these are awesome. They're really gonna like these. What? Did your unicorn colors freak you out? I love the color. Thank you so much, Nicole, and I will be sharing uh, Nicole's Etsy shop. The link will be in the description of this video. And looks like I have another kind of larger package. Oh, there's something here. <laughs> it's Green Day. That is so cool. Is there a note? Uh, well, there's no note, but it says that this is from Christopher. So thanks, Christopher. And how did you know I was a Green Day fan? Well, that was nice and unexpected. Thank you. And this one is from North Carolina. This is so cute. I think this is a panda one. I think they look like Minecraft animals. Happy tails. Okay. This says, Dear Megan, you're the best YouTuber ever. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I love your channel so much. I have a Dutch hound named Rosie. She's very stubborn. I have a black cat named Midnight and she was a stray. I also have a guinea pig named Ginger, and I want a bearded dragon. Thank you for the guinea pig care video. Can you please do a guinea pig cage tour? You take great care of your animals. Barry is so pretty, and Belle the rabbit is so cute. Can I have some tips on housebreaking a Dutch hound? I actually did a vlog about housebreaking dogs, and I'm going to link that in the description of this video so that you can uh, get some information from there. And I'm really glad that you enjoyed the guinea pig videos. There is going to be more soon and then I will do a cage video eventually. But I did do a setup of my guinea pig's cage when I got it in the mail. So I'll also uh, link that video as well. Two Happy Tails, you are a really great YouTuber. I love your videos so much. I have two dogs and one bunny. Also, what do I do if I have a dog that wants to hunt rodents and could get one? Uh, basically, that's kind of an instinct, so it's hard to do anything about that. Just keep any rodents away from him. And they drew my logo. So cute. Okay, and that was from... I don't think it had the name. But thank you anyway. Dear Megan, I love your videos and animals. I want to rescue animals too. My name is Pippa and I had animals when I was one. My dog's name is Stella and my cat's name is uh, Zaley. And I might get some fish for my birthday. My dog's breed is a Whippet and I want all of your animals. <laughs> Aww. And they're from New Zealand. 
Well, it's really nice to see somebody so young that's very passionate about animals. Dear Megan, I'm so glad you made your channel. And I'm glad too because I've connected with so many people. I love animals and you tell me all about different species. You help me learn about chameleons, dogs, hedgehogs, etc. I bet you love animals too. I love what you named all of your animals. They're so cute. I'm going to get a leopard gecko and I'm so excited. I also have a five month old German Shepherd puppy and he's already so big. I look forward to seeing another video. Thanks Megan. And says love Jenna. Well, Jenna, don't forget to check out Leopard Gecko. Rebecca makes a lot of Leopard Gecko videos, and she also makes a lot of other fun videos, so check her out, and I'll link that below in the description. How many pets do you have? Do you have any geckos? Uh, did you choose... Why did you choose to make a YouTube channel? Well, I'm going to link all my pets video in the description, so you can see um, how many pets I have, and I do have different types of geckos. And I decided to make my YouTube channel because I wanted to put out information on the internet so that other people could learn how to take care of animals. And she drew me and her. So if anything is falling on me, like seeds or something, my parrots are out. Like They're, they're usually out um, a lot during the day, out of their cages. They pull the canary's tray out from the cage and eat all of the seeds that the canaries have wasted and they just keep pulling out that tree until sometimes it falls <laughs> and they also drop seeds on me as they're eating okay and this is this is from Kaden but Kaden you've made this way too complicated oh wait it's okay it's not that hard never mind uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna try to Okay, there we go. Read first. From Kaden. Dear Megan, I've been watching your channel and other channels like yours for years. Every day I do research for my future. I watch videos on your channel and others like yours on a daily basis. I've watched all of your videos and I continue to watch them to the point where I have it in my mind. Some things about me are I'm in 10th grade, love animals, have a big family, live in Utah, have only a couple of friends, I'm a loner. I think in reality, you, everybody just has a couple of real friends. I'm obsessed with many things and have a lot of disorders, and so much more. Also, some things I plan to do in the future is go to college to become an all-animal vet, which will take 11 years, open a no-kill animal shelter, animal sanctuary, own lots of pets, go off-grid, teach people how to save our planet, about animals, live in a tiny house somewhere I can own as many animals as I want and so much more. What's your opinion on my future choice? I think you should do whatever it is your dream is. If that's your dream then don't let anybody stop you. Thank you for the help of your videos and keep making them to help people like me. Also I love you and your videos in a friend zone. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at the pretty wolf. And I know it kind of looks like I'm making a mess with the mail after I open it, but I actually do keep every single letter. Dear Megan, my name is Peyton and I'm 13 years old. You make amazing, informative, and adorable videos. I'm so excited when you post. I just have a few questions to ask. Uh, which is your favorite species to own? I don't think I could pick one. I um, just I like so many. <laughs> have you owned fish? And yes, I have. When I get a bit older, I want to get tons of exotic fish species. As of right now, I don't think I'm ready. Yeah, fish are really, really hard to take care of, but they're really amazing. They're pretty cool. Do you ever see yourself ending your animal uh, collecting? Uh, I hate calling it that because I know it's of how much work you put into your pets. Um... I don't know, uh, I guess um, it just depends on like how many animals I have, like I'm not going to get rid of my pets, but um, 
I wouldn't get, you know, more than I could care for. However, a lot of pets um, like rats and gerbils, things like that, have really short lifespans. So when they die, I usually tend to get something else. Like sometimes the same thing because like the gerbils I really liked. So I got, um, you know, the gerbils right away. But other ones, I, you know, sometimes I just tend to get a different type of pet. So I don't think I would ever stop getting them. I have one dog, Bruce, who is a Labrador. I also have a Crested Gecko, Robo, Robo Hamster, and two guinea pigs. I would really love to own a Leopard Gecko soon. Thanks so much for creating amazing videos. From Peyton, Bruce, Ziki, Strudel, uh, Yodel, and Hershey. <laughs> and this one that we're opening is from Kansas. Megan. Why do I keep opening this upside down? <laughs> Hi, I'm Nadia. I'm eight years old. I love your channel. I'd like if you could make some hamster videos. That would be nice. You're awesome. I live in Kansas. Sincerely, Nadia. Well, Nadia, I'm actually going to be making a hamster care video very soon, so keep watching for that. Maryland. Dear Megan, I'm 11 years old and a big fan of your YouTube channel. You're an awesome pet parent. We just got a Burmese mountain dog puppy. She's a bit crazy. And big, I bet. We have tried everything, ignoring her, uh, pinching her tongue, pushing her chin, squeezing her muzzle, and pinning her to the ground. Nothing works. Do you have any uh, puppy training tips? Keep up the channel. Uh, also, could you do a video of llamas versus alpacas? Maybe you wrote this probably before, but I actually did do that video recently. You may need to get a muzzle for your dog, but I definitely think that you should seek advice from a uh, dog trainer in your area because I couldn't really help through, you know, a video or through, um, you know, just talking about it. I think you really need somebody who can actually go in and see the dog in person and work with the dog. So. Um, just look for somebody who really likes to use positive reinforcement when working with animals. So uh, look for a trainer in your area for that. Oh, picture! Look how cute she is. Hi Megan, my name is Adam and I have a dog named Trent and a hamster named Luke Skywalker. Huge Star Wars fan. And I really want a guinea pig. I was wondering if you could give me some tips on how to care for them and what's some good cages for them. Oh, and I also also wondering if you could do a guinea pig cage tour if you have the time. Okay, so um, first thing, if you want a guinea pig, you have to get two. You can't get one guinea pig. So that's the very first thing to make sure you can get two. Then if you can get two, um, I have a guinea pig care video, which I will link down below. And then I will also link the uh, guinea pig cage, which I had mentioned earlier. And I will do uh, an update like of a tour of the cage um, eventually, but probably not anytime soon because I do have some videos already lined up. This one came with a chinchilla stamp. I actually wanted to get the pet stamps and like they never had them at the post office. Oh, there's all my little animals. If we could read the minds of animals, we would find only truths. So there's... Beery, Rainbow, Petunia, Jasper, that one kind of looks like Clark, one of the guinea pigs, a hedgehog, a goat, I think this one's an alpaca. It's so cute. Dear Megan, my name is Dakota. I live in Emory, Texas. When I heard you lived in Texas, I was excited. You are my favorite YouTuber in the whole world. I love all your pets so much. My favorite is your ESA companion, Caspian. Uh, Caspian is actually a service dog. And service dogs and um, emotional support animals are very different. Um, it's, it's okay that you, you know, put ESA because a lot of people don't know. But this actually gives me an opportunity to tell you guys. So, um, 
you, the difference between an ESA and a service dog is that a service dog is trained to do something for a disability. So they perform a task. They actually physically do something. Whereas an ESA is like a little animal that you hug or you pet and it makes you feel better. But service animals actually do something. If you know it if you're hugging the animal, petting the animal to feel better, it doesn't count as a service animal. So that's the difference between that. ESA's companions are just emotional support, whereas service dogs are actually very well-trained animals that do a lot of different things. I think he's the most handsome American Eskimo ever. Um, Caspian's actually not an American Eskimo. Uh, I think these are uh, the type of dogs you're talking about, and they're a lot smaller than Caspian. Caspian's actually an 80-pound dog, and he's a white German Shepherd. I love his colors. I also love your corgis. Dogs are my favorite pets. I currently own a Morky, a combination of a Yorkie and Maltese. He is three years old, and I used to have a Great Dane, but sadly we moved and the house was too small for him. But we keep in contact with his new owner. That's really nice. And I even saw him again after he was sold. I have had experience with many pets such as geckos, bunnies, cats, dogs, fish, and turtles. Also, we had a hedgehog. Finally, I was wondering if you had any advice for bunny food. I'm planning on getting one. Alright, Dakota, well, don't tell anybody this, but uh, that's going to be very, very soon. P.S. Did you draw the pic of you and your animals? The um, picture that comes on at the beginning of these videos is not done by me. It's actually done by an artist that I really, really like. Um, I met her even like way before I did my YouTube channel, and then when I did the YouTube channel and I wanted to, you know, really make a, a good intro after I had started making videos, I wanted her to do um, the, the painting because I thought that her work was just so amazing. So I will uh, put a link to uh, her uh, down below because it's um, Jessica Van Buren and she is an amazing artist. Oh my gosh, this one has a bunch of stickers. And this one is from Wisconsin. Dear Megan, I'm a subscriber. Yay, subscriber! Pets and stuff. Thank you so much for replying to my comments. It made my day. You have taught me so much about animals. I am in a phase uh, that I want to pet. I just came across your channel and I will watch your videos for hours. I'm a huge pet person and know lots about pets, but when I watch your videos, I learn something new every time. And that's from Michaela. Thank you guys for all of the mail. It's really awesome getting mail in and hearing that you guys like the channel and it's just some really nice comments about me and you know, the work that I do. So it's really, really nice to get that. If you want to send me fan mail, you can send it to this address right here. And I do try to open everything on camera. Thanks so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All which will be linked in the description of this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!